Hey coders, happy Tuesday. Chris here with part two of our shopping app series. In the previous video, I gave you a tour of Molten, overview of the features and the dashboard. Well, today we're gonna get right into building our app, starting with creating an account on Molten. And I'll show you guys how to set up your base currency for your store and add a couple of products. So when we interact with our Molten store, we're gonna be able to retrieve those products through the API. So I'm on the molten.com homepage here, and there's a big register button on the right upper right hand corner. So that's where I'm going to go to register. Okay, so just a couple of pieces of information here. First and last name email address, password, all right, and we're off. So I'm not going to provide this information right now. Skip that. Uh, getting started, we're going to do iOS and cool little intro. We're not going to do this part yet. We're going to do that in the next lesson. Right now, we're going to jump straight into our dashboard. So let's go up to here for my account. Uh, let's go into the Forge dashboard. And here we just specify the information we signed up with. And this is going to bring us right into the dashboard of our store like this. So depending on where you're doing business, there may be a couple of things you want to change off the bat. Uh, by default, your store is in British pounds. Uh, I want to do a store in US currency. So I'm going to go into advanced. I'm going to jump into currencies. And I'm going to create a brand new currency. And then we're going to delete the British pound one. So I'm going to click create currency. And for code, we're going to put in USD. For title, we'll put in US dollar. Enabled is yes. And for modifier, because it's the base currency, I'm not gonna put anything in here, maybe just plus zero. So the modifier field just allows us to specify some amount to add, subtract, or multiply to the product amount if we choose to do so for this currency. An example of where you may want to do this is if you want to charge the customer something extra for transacting in a certain currency because maybe your payment gateway or bank charges you extra fees for transacting in that currency. And then next we have exchange rate. So because I want the US dollar to be our base currency, I'm going to put one there. But if you wanted to display your store product prices in multiple currencies, uh, you would create different currencies and then you can specify your own exchange rate so it will update the price based on the exchange rate and I want to make this the default currency so I'm going to say yes and then I'm going to hit submit oh I forgot one thing format field is required so there is a little tab over here where you can specify how you want this currency to be formatted so here's an example because the currency symbol may be different and so you have the flexibility to customize that here. So ours is just going to be dollar sign, curly brace, price, and close the curly brace. So the decimal point, the symbol we want to use is a dot and the thousand point comma. And I'm not going to specify any rounding here, but you can do rounding like this. Okay, so we're going to submit that. And we've created our currency. So let's go back to the list of currencies. Now we can see that our US dollar is the default one. Uh, and I'm going to delete the British pound one. And then now we're going to go on and create some products in our inventory. So no products found, that's expected. I'm going to hit create product up here. And let's say that I'm an authorized Apple reseller. So to go with the theme, let's sell some Apple products. Let's say we have a MacBook Pro, and this slug is going to be part of the product URL. So status, I'm going to leave as draft, but when we want to hit live, then we just change this drop down to live. Description, great laptop. Category, we have to select one, and by default, there's an uncategorized, so we're going to do that but we can create more categories under here and we then can add multiple categories 
Next we've got brand, but this is an optional field. I don't have any brands set up, but again, you can set up something here on the left hand side for the different brands. And I guess for us, it would just be Apple. Uh, for collection, if you wanted to create different collections of products, for example, if you're a clothing retailer, you could do something like a fall collection, winter collection, that sort of thing. Uh, you can set up your collections here as well. Okay, so for SKU, that's just going to be our product identifier. So I'm just going to call it MVP. And for price, let's say $1,400. Stock level, we've only got 10 and it's in stock. And catalog only, you have an option of no or yes. If you selected yes, then this product is only for show in the catalog and it cannot be added to cart. So I'm gonna select no because I want the customers to be able to buy it. I also haven't set up any tax bands and you would do that under the advanced option here. So I'm just gonna leave it at default. And then lastly, you can specify all of these measurements and the weight and require shipping or not. So I'm gonna say yes. All right, so finally we're gonna hit submit and create our first product. There's also a couple of other options here. If you wanted to add images to your product, you can do so in this tab right here. And then you can just drag and drop your images there. So one of the things I found when I was working with Molten, um, just setting up some demos and some tests, is that their support is really great. So if you have a question about any of these fields or how to do anything with your store, simply reach out. There's this little button here. You can always reach out and get help pretty quickly. All right, I'm going to go back to products and I'm going to add another one so that we have something to see. Uh, let's call this the iPad Pro. Um, actually, we need to set that one to live. So let's just set this one to live right now. We need to do that for the... Category, uncategorized. I don't even know how much this thing is. I think it's a thousand dollars. Okay, so let's go back to the products and let's switch the MacBook Pro to live first before we forget. And there it is. And let's just create one more. Maybe it's $2,000 or something like that. All right, so we've got three products in our store, which is gonna be sufficient for our demo. A couple of other things before we end this video. Under advance, we're probably going to want to set up a gateway if you're going to be running your store live. For our demo, we're not going to set up an actual gateway here. But just to show you how easy it is, I actually use on my website Stripe and all you have to do is take the API key from Stripe and put it into here. And I also use PayPal Express and you can configure that here. So all of these details is available uh, through your PayPal account and you just have to fill them out here to enable this gateway. Another thing that we didn't do and just to mention that they have a ton of gateways so chances are you will find the one that you used in here as well. I'm going to go to the settings and change my time zone. So Eastern is the one that I'm in. All right, so now we've set the time zone, the currency. Uh, we've set up some products. And if this were your live store, you'd probably want to set up some gateways and shipping rules as well if you're actually shipping products out. So you could do that through here. And taxes if you're going to be remitting taxes. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and under my account here, in the next lesson, we're going to actually take the API keys. We're going to be needing these guys for my store uh, in order to integrate the Molten libraries into our Xcode project. So you'll see that in the next lesson. I hope you guys are setting up your own store to follow along. And in the next lesson, we're going to set up our Xcode project. So I'll see you there. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.